Welcome back to the Diver Guy channel. We're going to make your front dive pike better in less than eight minutes today. I make these videos because I wish I had these videos when I was a kid and I just want you to be better off. With that, this video will be a little different than others. We're going to spend less time with the beginners and more time with the advanced divers to show you what it looks like. So let's start right here with this black and white video. Walking through the hurdle step is great. We talk about this every once in a while where her foot is poking out behind her leg. You want to keep that knee up in front. Don't let that foot slide behind. Timing on the arm circle is okay, a little bit early, and you can see that she's leaning out. So she's just bent out over the board on this takeoff. And the best way to fix this is really just to look up and try and sit back a little bit more. Put more weight on your heels and wait longer to leave. The first time you try it, you might get a little stuck, but that's okay. We're just at practice, right? So let's try and stay on the board longer and keep your head up so you can stay taller off the board. You can see as she comes off, she has a little bend in the knees. You want to lock out those legs so that they're straight. She kind of puts her hands past her legs instead of touching the toes or going out wide. Therefore, she sweeps underneath to grab her arms rather than going laterally, all right? So she has a slight twist going in the water and her feet come apart a little bit. Other than that, great way to start off this video and we'll work on the next diver here. Walking down the board, pretty good knee drive. He's a little bit far back for that planted leg for the hurdle step. So the board's not bouncing a ton and he has to jump forward quite a bit to get to the end. So a lot of his momentum is carrying out rather than up and then the same thing happens here where he's leaving the board a little early you see the girl before him left the board early she was leaning out and now he's leaning out a little bit not quite as bad so where he goes wrong is that his hands only get to about 10 o'clock you want them to get all the way up to 12 o'clock above the head so he's a straight line pointing up and we'll see that with some of the professional divers in the next couple videos and then from there he didn't go into a very deep pike either he stayed very open his head is up a little bit too high and and his hips don't get up and over his body. So he's a little bit under rotated. So he goes down, he kind of touches his toes, but it's still a very open pike. And then he puts his arms out wider, which is good, and grabs his hands for the entry. Very nice entry. What you'll see in these next couple videos is that these professional divers kind of snap out of their pikes a lot better. And that's a skill that you'll find develops as you get older and as you get more advanced in the diving. I would say that this first video isn't the best representation and the person that's closest to us can hide a lot of the faults on the entry, but we'll get there. So large hop forwards. You can see where she's starting. She's really far back and hopping very far. It works for her. Her knee drive is good, but she can hold it there longer. She starts to put the leg down a little early and she also has her foot a little bit behind that leg. And right here on the end of the board, you can see the person closest to us is actually leaning out a little bit. You can see her synchro partner behind her is a little bit taller, straighter off the board. This results in her chest coming down more than the hips are popping up. The ultimate goal is to get the hips to come up over your upper body. It's a little bit of a weird thing to say because you end up in a similar spot right? Your head is coming down if your hips are going up and over, but by driving your legs up above your body a little bit more, you're getting more use out of the board and you're jumping higher because of that. So you can see they get into a pretty nice pike. Their arms are out wide. They're not touching their toes, which is okay. This is more of an open pike variation. Many ways to do this, but their arms are out to the side. They're not too far underneath their legs or behind their body to disrupt their body line. Then they snap out of the pike. And I actually think that she she snapped out a little bit too hard. There's a slight arch in her low back and she reaches for her grab very early. She can hold her arms out wider a little bit longer before reaching for that grab. She's grabbed here. She hasn't even passed the board yet. So she's prepared for an entry that's quite a ways away. And that actually means that she's gonna drift over, which she starts to, but she's a professional diver and knows how to pike save. So she hides it very well on the entry. You wouldn't know that she was about to go over because she pike saved so hard. This last angle, really shows the arm positioning on the out, how wide out their arms are, rather than sweeping underneath like the first girl did for the close. They're out wide and they close laterally above their head and squeeze really tight for the entry. Let's go for the Italian pair. They do a much better job off the board. So let's watch the girl that's closest to us. Great hurdle step, knee drive is good, and she puts the leg down really sharp. Great line at the peak of that hop. And then look at this takeoff. See how much 
much straighter she is off the board. She slightly leaned forward, but not much at all. And her arms are by her ears pointing straight up. That is a perfect alignment on the takeoff other than being slightly back from the end of the board. But she's popping off the toes. This is kind of a good example of the hips popping up and over rather than the chest coming down. You can see the upper body doesn't really go down hard. It's the hips that seem to kind of rotate up and around. I don't know if that's easy to tell, but when you see the first versions and compare it to this, you can really tell the difference of what it looks like when the chest goes down rather than the hips coming up. Their arms are out super wide, which I love. It's not in the way of her legs and body line. And look how she opens up and then she starts to close and she closes right about there. So she's much further down, a little bit below the board when she finishes that close, which gives her more control on the entry. And she doesn't even really pike save. She rolls into the water, but she's going in straight. What she didn't do was really lock out enough and swim hard enough to get rid of all that splash. But this is about the mechanics on the board right now. And we'll do a separate video on entries in the near future. All right, last but not least, we've got this Canadian pair. It's a very dynamic hurdle. They do a traditional hurdle. And look at this lunge forward into the board, putting a lot of energy down so that the board can push them very, very high. They're very strong. And that definitely plays a role and it helps them. Everybody else was leaned forward slightly or falling forward or back from the end of the board and their arms were not all the way up except for the last video with the Italian girls. But this guy closest to us here, it's as if he's standing on the end of the board and he's just taking it all the way up. His arms kind of come off wide. He doesn't need a lot of throw or anything so he's just taking the maximum jump he can get out of the board waiting for his hips to kind of pop up and over. For reference here, that board that is next to them, that's the seven meter. They're jumping extremely high because he's getting all of that push from the board and he's staying on it as long as possible. He's a straight line getting thrown straight up into the air where then he can pike, he slides out, and then he lines up for the entry. He holds his body line really well. What you'll see a lot is when people snap out of that pike, they go archy. But look, he's holding so strong in his core that his back is a straight line. He doesn't have any arch in his low back and he lines up for that entry. Great toe point and rips it. Here's another angle of his toe point. You can see how well he curls his toes. It's really impressive there. That's a great dive. And there you have it. This was a quick video for front dive pike, and I wanted to get a couple of those main things across of just staying on the board longer than you think you do, because the higher you jump, the more time you have in the air, and you don't have to worry about hitting the water as soon. Coming out laterally and not sweeping underneath for the grab, and just trying to get into a deeper pike. Work on your flexibility and get a little bit deeper each time you go to practice. It's a great drill to have for body control on the snap out as you'll use it in a bunch of other dives in the future. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. It would mean a lot and I'll see you in the next video.